Honorable John Akparwa Nde Bugri has been my very, very close, very, very close confidant since 1965. The late John Akparbu in Debugri was born on 12 March 1950 to Mr. Ndebugri Azase and Madame Atumpiak Aliambugri at Tiamonde, a village in Zebila in the Boko West District. He was the second son of his parents among five children and one of the illustrious sons of the Upper East region. The boy's death is a loss to some of us personally and then a loss to the Kusasi state, to the Upper East region and to Mother Ghana and to prosperity. I was with him in his very middle boarding in 1965, 64, 65. Mr. Indebugri started his education at the Tanga Primary School and continued to the Zebela Middle School. Uh, we passed common entrance together. I went to Navrongo Secondary School in September 1965. So we were classmates in Form 1 to uh, 65 to 70 when we wrote the O level. Then uh, we came back to Sifom together. I came, I finished the Sifom there. He had to leave Navas School to uh, Cape Coast to do prelims. And then later on, uh, he wrote the A level privately and then went to Kwamukuru University of Science and Technology and did uh, chemical engineering, which they call today chemical engineering. He, he had become what one would consider as a moderate. If you know his background uh, from the PNDC days and his encounters subsequently with the PNDC and the NDC, um, I believe people were expecting uh, uh, more radical personality in the parliament, but when he came, he joined the ruling party in the parliament. In Accra, Al Haji Hamidu Abugri, Kusasi's chief, applauded the late lawyer John Akwarwan Abugri for his contributions to the development of the Kusa traditional area. And beyond. John Day, on the Ninkane, Zapusa Gela, Kabap and Testek Bang, it is in Gold Square, the Pan Rosina Nine. Bin Pin Rollins time, on the Keka, Wagba, Yanga Palm region. Otum can Kotuma, the card in the Pia, so Zina, the Awanala, the board of Kosas, Yangi, Kababang Dunya Bang, you all on the Pila. On Nintetar, on the Anacosa, Serkat Yi, Tiai Kabangawai, on the Pila, on the Moria, Ka, they are on a Catapian Yisum, the Anet Tenam Mingyan Yas. So the board at Yi, Nidu Bangi, or Nida Pila, or Tom Toma. After he left the university, Nde has demonstrated that uh, his intelligence level is very, very high. Is very very brilliant. In 1986 or thereabout, they decided to read law. So he did all law and then was called to the bar in 1988. So he has been practicing as a lawyer since then. And those of you who have been listening to social media or following social media will know how erudite his contributions have been in the social media, as far as legal issues are concerned and also political issues. Zafarpaka in the Bukri is my name, the firstborn of Honorable John Aparo in the Bukri and the only female child in the midst of three boys. Daddy was a great father, a caring father, a loving father. He wouldn't mind doing anything for his children. 
He made sure he provided for us. He made sure our education was paramount on his list. So my name is um, Vladimir Akasi. I am a um, second born but first son of late John All four of us were privileged to have called him our father. Um, the rest of Ghana knew him as John Day, the firebrand, the no nonsense man, the principal lawyer, the uh, astute politician, uh, and so on and so forth. You know, all those positive adjectives you can use to describe any human being were certainly associated with him. But for us, I mean, we just knew him as our father. Uh, growing up, I mean, just as he grew up, he did not want to make us feel that anybody was entitled to anything. I mean, you had to pull yourself by your bootstraps to be able to make to get to the next level. John Deo ani ninkane ka o shun zab be kusage la o seda ano seda o hobo dama am fia mo dama am pia kin John Deo san o ponye le fe seda ma mi une kare kazi na ma mi une kana maro ne 16 years tam kana kansa mingbe ka oni pita tashi una mousa kin pena kenim sam sana sometimes yele a te be be te tomba san so John Deo ma mi une kwa kana a bibi John Deo bubi was a very close friend I met him in student days when he was very active in the National Union of Ghana Students. And eventually he ended up in Nigeria as a teacher. I remember in 1982 when uh, Rollins uh, made a coup and then they deposed Hillary Mann in office. They was at that time uh, working in Nigeria. And uh, because of his uh, revolutionary exploits, uh, he was recommended to Rawlings, and then Rawlings brought him back from Nigeria and made him PNDC secretary for the Northern Region. Lina Bebe, I like me no pass and at Sam need to be honourable John the board. Now Pugun Yele, Mammy mean the board since 1986. Come on, me, Otom Toma Pam Tiko South. To Koyan, you are some me, Katasu and Ami, Kabilin and daughter, secreting a beak one in the boat, a warm, commit to our set of pool, one in the bona to ask the same. Can another set of levelings or Lena Su, Dunia Bomahala, PMG Secretary for Northern Region in Tamil. So he was there in 1982. Then in 1983, he was uh, shifted to the upper region, that time, upper region, uh, they had separated the upper west from the upper region. He was under the supervision that. Uh, Rollins created the Upper West Region. And he was very, very instrumental in the passage of PNDC Law 75. And they had uh, entered himself to President Rollins or Chairman Rollins. And they had taken the revolution <laughs> into his heart and uh, was a force to reckon with, such that even if there was a counter coup, they would bring him there from Bolga to come and address a gathering in the crowd. Uh, they would tell him that they would crush anti revolutionaries and all types of people. So Rollins liked him. I remember when he resigned from the PNDC government. And he resigned with just a Peugeot 504. He decided to use that car to brand a flower across. Trotro, take care of the family. As he resigned as a minister, John Lebubu became a commercial driver, driving his 504 saloon car to and from Aflao as a means of earning a living and also as a means of showing solidarity with the drivers you know, the GPR team that he joined and so on. That was the kind of father he was. Uh, nobody ever had a golden spoon in his mouth. We all went through the rigors of studies, went through difficult times actually. Uh, there were times that we actually didn't have to, you know, uh, make sure that we paid our own school fees and so on and so forth. Um, they was a disciplinarian. It did not, there was no favor to children versus outsiders or any such thing. Whatever he thought was right, if that same principle applied to us, just as it applied to other people from outside. So, you know, I never remember my papa. My papa was born in 1976. Come on, papa, you know, I never did. To me, what I see, Musa, if I never can, I never can go to Paris. I never can go to Paris. Fanu ankamalo shield ba kuwa kwa nini fufu lo kwa yoyalfa. 
ye bodin ka fama dara kasum ta na be kwala bulugut ankara pala wusa ko sa so sai anya ba shir wusa or standard ko sa ko fa bud bobin kan ya sa ka ken ya wusa o ye sai na defendive fa yala pogol intesef ta na mi shi amla ko lai yi kwala gar ken kulit yan lai ken ta yan na ka wa ni na ka wana mi ya pala yello o no ben shi gila ko ta kena kai so while we mourn him we also have to give praise and glory to the god for giving us a son called uh, John the Carbon de Bore, for giving him the energy, the knowledge, and the tenacity to fight the way he fought for social justice, not just for Kusazi, but everywhere. Uh, in the, during the political era, they joined the People's National Convention, PNC, and then the, and he contested elections in Zebula, and finally won the seat in 2004, general election, and came to parliament. That is the fourth parliament of the fourth republic. He represented the people of Zebula. Mbiala impasse bi la mort bi la passe ko kenne eh John de eh biala ni ma o ani big bergo amare ma me duna miu ka melen wo den ko tomates ko sa ndede te ya poete bi ya o piere te ko yanga pom bi azina kare nai amare ana bon kan ko duna zap ko sa zabre o singene o naro sa fa azina so ana e buena bon so kate bon so die zikan ko onabe when I'm Ning was his song, Ka O Sulme, my Katamepam, Bikan, and Menaduna, Menatang, making a museum, Kosakan, Ka, Tanai, Yang, and Oko, my mamma say, John Day, Ongamela, when they, John Day, time, Korabe. He made us self sufficient. He made us understand that we could not depend on him at other times. What he could do for us was to make sure that we got the best of education. So, guess to, we went to, quite frankly, went to some of the good schools in Mali. You know, and for him, that was all he could do for us. The rest of it, if you went to school and you went to go and do some stupid stuff and got yourself involved in some uh, problems of the sort, he was not going to come and get you out of that trouble. You understand? So that was the level of discipline with which we were brought up. And then I think that to a large extent, it has actually helped us in shaping our lives to become who we all four of us have become today. In the Bugri, on leaving the government, became an active advocate for the return to the multi-party democratic order. He first joined the Kwame Nkrumah Revolutionary Guards, where he became national organizer. And the Kwame Nkrumah Revolutionary Guard then built an alliance with the New Democratic Movement, the African Youth Command, and the United Revolutionary Front, which was then in exile. He started a vigorous campaign for the return to multi-party democracy. Indeed, this alliance, which is then called the Progressive Alliance, led to the formation of the Movement for Freedom and Justice, which was led by Professor Albert Edouard. I recall that it was in Debugri, uh, Kwame Riafi, Usu Dima and I, who persuaded the late Victor Usu to bring the Dark Obuzia tradition on board the new alliance, the new broad alliance. And it was the four of us who went to convince Professor Albert Edouard to become the national chair of the movement. In the course of the struggle for the restoration of multi party democracy, Ndebubu was arrested and detained. It didn't sway him, he continued to pursue the course of, 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 of building a democratic order, and he sacrificed his all contributed significantly to the building of this new democratic order that all of us enjoy. Every Kusasi man uh, owes a lot of allegiance to Nde and uh, his death is a, a loss to all of us. He, and he was neither too he wasn't too old to, 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 to have died. 72 years plus is not an old age. People are living up to 80, 90 years. And I wish they had lived for at least another 10 years and uh, or a few more years. But God knows better. Uh, everybody, God has sent us to this and given you a mission. And then if you are able to accomplish that mission, then he takes you. It has been a difficult six weeks or seven weeks since his passing. Uh, every day has been very difficult to deal with. In the Bugri, we will remember as a stalwart in that struggle. And his contribution would never be forgotten. He did contribute significantly to building a democratic state in Ghana. And we hope that his deeds will continue to inspire those of us who are still alive 
and people yet unborn to continue the struggle for liberating the working people of this country from the shackles of poverty, from the shackles of oppression, and from the shackles of dictatorial rule. May in the rest in the land of peace. And there was a genius. A genius, fantastic. Yeah, he's a genius. He was way ahead of his time. I mean, uh, somebody who, at 72 years, his level of reasoning and the way he could understand contemporary issues, I can just say one word, he was a genius. The good Lord thinks that they has accomplished a mission. And that is why, when the 6th of May 2022, they uh, was called to, to glory. They were saying that they were saying that they were John Aparwo Ndebogor on the Kalam. Basile Dapsira had been on the 14th, 15th, 16th. On the 14th, Beba Male State House. They are in a seco morcuma unculian kinswa. Largely through advocacy to bring governance and decentralization to the doorstep of the people, he played a key role in the division of the now Upper East and Upper West regions. He left behind a wife, Madame Ophelia Agosua in Double Green, and four children. Oh, my God. 